Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play, Let's Play, with Let's Play Banjo Tooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. Last time, we returned to Widgey World and got a few jiggies, um, two of which were on screen, one of which was off screen because I failed miserably at that stupid UFO shooting saucer game. It took me another six tries after I told you I'd meet you back here for me to get it. So yeah, now I have. 31 jiggies. A weird thing though, I was uh, just exploring the area, just because uh, I noticed I had 8 out of 10 jiggies. So I was just exploring the area, see if there's anything else I could do. I know you gotta do boggy or whatever. And I noticed that for somehow, even though I, even though I know for a fact I collected it on screen, the jiggy that you get from the bouncing castle, the one where you, uh... Actually, wait a second, never mind. Never mind. I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, yeah, I thought I, I thought I hadn't collected one of the jiggies, and it turns out that I hadn't. I'm not sure if it's one that I got a long time ago or for one that I got recently. Either way, it was one of the ones that was by the bouncing house, and I ended up not collecting it somehow, so I ended up collecting it, and now we have 9 out of 10 jiggies for that world. Anyways, we're going to go see if uh, Book Brandon here will give us anything for the six pages that we got. Is it four or six? I don't remember. It's a, it's a few. And after that, we'll go see if we can trade in for another honeycomb piece. I'm not sure if we can't do that yet, but we'll check it out. Ooh, good. We got enough pages. A new secret cheat. Spill the beans. Spill the beans. Okay. My second cheat is eggs. Wow, seriously? Eggs. Okay, what does it do? I'll have to find more. How many more pages do I need to find? You could at least tell me that. Okay, I don't even know what that does. Um. But somebody was telling me earlier, uh, one of my friends, he was watching me play. Um, remember a few episodes ago, we were in the the uh, Great Jiggy Wiggy Bastard Temple, or whatever, and we saw that little area behind the King Jiggy Wiggy. Um, and we read those three signs, and one said, um, jingling behind uh, a mountain or something like that. It was like the third sign, and it had just like a real weird wording. He told me that was actually... Um, like a hint at a, another cheat code that we can that we can get. Uh, apparently, it's something called Nest King. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go enter these codes at at uh, Mayahem Temple here and see if I see what I get out of them. Yeah, he said that that was the game's way of like telling me that it had a. Uh, that was a game's way of telling me about that cheat. You're supposed to figure it out from there. So we'll figure it out. Let's go to the plateau first, see if I can't trade it for some extra honeycomb pieces. I still like the way we did it in Banjo Kazooie first, where you just, you know, got him and got the extra health right away, but eh, oh well. Oh, and one other thing I forgot, we could probably tell on Torpedo, or whatever it is, uh, that little lake over by Witchy World, but I'm not going to worry about it yet. Since we still, since I don't want to get too far behind on Jolly Roger Lagoon, I'm Honey Bee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do I have enough? You have enough for one extra energy unit. All right. Yes, indeedy. All right. How many more do I need for another one? Now we have an even 8 health and we need 7 more, so I'm not sure if that's 7 total or 7 more, but I'm going to assume 7 more. I do like how they just show you how many you can get. There's a total of like 6 you can get. I do think that's pretty cool, but ah well. Anyways, let's head, all, let's head on over to our uh, code entering area. Let's see. Did we even hit? Okay, he said it was something like, what, eggs? Feathers? Yeah. I don't see either eggs or feathers. Yes, I do have a bad memory. 
I have a bad memory, bad eyesight, bad reflexes, occasionally bad breath, you know, the works. Yeah, let's go check out that sign though real quick, uh, just in case you guys missed it from the last time that we did it. It looks like we can do another puzzle, but, and like I said, we're gonna hold off on that and the other, and the other, uh, talent torpedo -y thing until after we do a little bit more in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. See, this one right here, you said this one was the one that had a, a hint. An egg container followed by jingling. Yeah, he said, uh, that a uh, egg container was the nest, and then jingling um, was the king. So he said that's how. Uh, he said you're supposed to figure that out somehow, but how you're supposed to figure that out, I'm not entirely sure. If he hadn't told me, I never would have guessed. I wish you are returning to Mr. Mayhem Temple a lot, aren't we? We still have one more jingle we got to get in here. I think only one more though. Let's see, we need to go to Wumpa's Wigwam. Here we go. Let's see, the feathers. What did the feathers do? I think that just doubled our egg capacity, right? Or our feather capacity. So I'm assuming the egg one is just going to do that. So well, let's get rid of you. Oh, I forgot I had the ice eggs on because I was, uh, I was testing them out on the, uh, on the vending machine thing or the slot machines in the witchy world to see if they would work because fire eggs don't work and the regular eggs don't work, but the grenade eggs do. And it turns out that the ice eggs actually do work on those guys. You freeze them and then you can kill them with, uh, with the rat, with the rat a tat tat move, whatever the thing's called. Come here. And one more, one more. Where's the S? There it is. There we go. The eggs cheat will double the maximum number of eggs that you can. Oh, cool. Nice. Neato. I wonder if it fills me up. Ah, uh, it didn't fill me up. Actually, I gotta turn it on first, don't I? Alrighty, let's come here. Let's see, double maximum feathers, double maximum eggs, signed posts, and enable homing eggs. Wait, how many did that say? Wow, there's more than... there's a lot of cheats in this game. I didn't realize that the uh, homing eggs was cheat number 12, so we got a... We got a few more cheats to go. Okay, and we're now we gotta enter Nest King. Let's see. Wait. You'll have to start. With okay, yeah, I'm trying, but give me a second. This stupid aiming. Actually, you know what? There we go. Let's try that. Will that work? No, you actually gotta stand on it. Okay. Okay, let's start with. Huh. Let's try King Nest. Because he said that's how you, uh. Huh. Um. Maybe you gotta enter Cheeto first. Let's try that. Cheeto. At least they tell you if you're doing it wrong, so. I guess it makes it easy to not cheat. Unless you use the Cheeto. Alright, come here. I remember in a Banjo Kazooie, they said if you use more than three, like, game breaking cheats, it would actually just delete your, uh. your file. I never. I never tried that, though. And this doesn't seem to be working. Can't tell though. Okay. 
Oh, it worked. The Nest King cheat will give you infinite eggs and feathers. If you use this cheat, saving will be stopped and your score will not be posted to the... I guess not, because considering I actually want to, you know, like, uh, save my progress and stuff. Maybe that's just, uh, maybe that's just one of those cheats you're just not supposed to ever have activated. Oh well. It would have, it would have been kind of cheap to have unlimited eggs and everything anyway, so I don't care too much. Oh, it did, uh, it did fill up my, my, my eggs, so now I have... 200 blue eggs, 100 fire eggs, that's gonna be nice. 50 grenade eggs. Kinda sucks to give you only 50 of those, but. Ah, well. I'm also kinda irritated they don't give you any new, uh, new feathers so far. We got the red feathers and the gold feathers from the last game, and. They're not as useful as they were in the last game, and there's not giving us any new ones. Not that I can think of anything new for them to give us, but. Still would have been nice to have something. I don't think we've done too much flying in general. Alright, anyways, we're gonna go back to Mr. Jolly Roger Lagoon now. If you ever get in the hole. Let's see. We're on the cliff top. Oh yeah, and somebody told me what that train was for. It was to heal the sick triceratops in the uh in the witchy world. I don't know how we're supposed to get the Triceratops over there. Maybe on the train somehow. Well, first we gotta figure out how to unlock the cage, but oh well. I'm guessing all my doubloons are gone from the last time I was here. And I don't remember if we checked this guy, because we got the Jiggy, but I wonder... I don't know if we ever checked to see if... Ooh, he does have something else for sale. Wait a second, I remember we did check last time and there wasn't anything in there for sale. Maybe you have to exit the area or something? Or exit the world? I'm not sure. Hello? How you doing? Give me the... Give me the cheat page. The Legendary Cheeto Book. Yes, indeedy. Five doubloons? wanted like what 25 for the for the jiggy and what do you know I have five doubloons that was a very nice coincidence yes I want the page fork it over guy yes sir pleasure's all mine buddy now fork it over and I don't think I showed us this view of him before where he has the uh, the peg leg. Or if he did, I wasn't paying attention. Hey, we got a cheat page. Alright. I'm going to try entering and exiting the world again just to make sure the bastard's not holding out anything else like a Jinjo or something. Who knows, a little bastard might be holding out on a... Uh, might be holding out on a uh, extra honeycomb piece or something. Nope, that appears to be all of it. And we've done most of uh, I'm pretty sure we've done most of what we can do on the surface over here. Let's see, we've got the move for Kazooie over there. We've bought the guy's store somehow. Um, we talked to Mumbo and somehow put oxygen in the water. How sunlight does that? I am not in, I'm not sure in the slightest. Uh, we fixed the kid's lake, but we can't actually, like, fix it because it's, uh, freezing cold and we're not, our fire eggs don't seem to do the job. Um, where is that stupid tele- oh, never mind. Um, here we go. Alright, let's go back down to... Let's see, we don't want to go to a... Uh, let's see... Let's try... Actually, let me see something here. Let's see what kind of stuff we got so far. Um, we've only got 
two Jiggies and one of everything else except for the Jinjos and the moves. Oh, we got all the notes. I'm surprised. See, Witchy World, we're missing one Jinjo. Not. Oh, he's he's with the Triceratops. Um, so we know where both of those are from Witchy World. Gooder Gulch Mine, we're missing one Jinjo and two Jiggies. Not sure. Um, one Honeycomb and one Note. Or one Jiggy. Okay, uh, let me see one thing here. Um, let's see. Ah, screw it. Okay, let's start off with... Let's start off with Locker's Cavern, the one, the furthest one we got. Oh, that's right, this was uh, Davy Jones' locker that we can't do a whole lot in. Um, you got some feathers, I don't really care about you. I wonder if I can just attack that fish right here with a... Uh... I guess not. Um, it'd be really helpful if we had like a map for this area, but I guess not. Okay, we just gotta figure out where to go to not lose our... Okay, let's go this way right here. Actually, you know what? I don't think there's anything in here, so screw it. Come back to here and we'll go to the next area. Yeah, I'm like two feet away from it, dude. Come here. Banjo? Swim, you little shit. There we go. Um, Big Fish Cavern. What the heck is that icon next to it? Okay, that thing is like an angler fish. The one on the top is the little rat that sold us the supplies. That's the little piggy with four arms, and not sure what that red, uh, that little blonde thingy is. And holy crap, you're huge! Uh, let's try killing you with grenades. Or not. Okay. Ooh, I see a honeycomb piece. Um, now how do I activate my kazooie thingy? I don't remember. Um, uh, help with options. No, I don't need controls, I need special moves. Okay, um... Jolly Rogers Lagoon, here we go. Sub Aqua, I don't care about you. Talent Torpedo, there we go. LT, okay, there we go. Gotcha. You go back. I don't think I've ever seen a game that takes this long to get out of a menu. Alright. What the heck? I was trying to go towards that thing. There we go. Cover. There we go. That was nice. I wonder what happens if you go to the surface as Kazooie by yourself. Is that even a surface? I can't tell. Oh, it is a surface. Dur -dur -dur -dur. All right, let's go to the surface as both of us. Hey, hey, look at that. Stairs. Wait, isn't this the entrance to, uh, what's-his-face's, uh, back door? Jolly Roger's back door. Seaweed Sanctum. Okay, that's where that's where this is. I knew we had been in there. I just didn't remember from where. Okay. Grab some more ice eggs, even though we don't need them, since they don't appear to be all that useful. Uh, let's see. You? I wonder if I can attack you with my, uh... Talon torpedo thingy. I doubt it, but let's let's try. I guess not. I guess not. And holy crap, this thing is a pain in the ass to aim. All right, go back to banjo. Uh, let's see. 
This might be one of those worlds that takes a while since we have no idea where we're going throughout the whole thing. And of course the entire thing is underwater. At least it's not like Clinker's Cavern where you had to actually worry about breathing, but... Okay, um... Uh... I know there's gonna be a wig, uh, Wumpa's Wigwam in here somewhere in the level because there's always a Wumpa's Wigwam in these levels. Or, not just these, well, you know what I mean. I don't think there's been a world in Banjo Tooie yet where there wasn't a Wunga, Wumpa's Wigwam. So she's gotta be around here somewhere. And, and or, don't swim me to the octopus. Alright, where is... where is Wumba's... Okay, I was just in here, wasn't I? Um... This would be one area that would benefit greatly from having a map. Oh yeah, we can't go down there, can we? Um... let's see... Okay, I think I came out of that one, so... Let's go over here. I know we came out of one of these, I'm just not sure which one. And I'm pretty sure they both have octopi in them, so it's not going to be able to help me as to which way I've already been. And how did that not freeze you? There we go. Let's see if I can make it through without... Yes, I made it through without killing myself. And I'm not sure if I went this way before. Okay, I have. Atlantis. Um, oh, and what do you know? We can get in here. Fantastic. Nope, turn around. There we go. And I guess you can't go too far off by yourself. These two are inseparable, except for when they're separated. And hey, this would be a fantastic time for, uh... Wait, we're in Glitter, Glitter Gold's Mine? Okay. Not sure how that works out, but okay. I don't think we could use our... feathers. Okay, maybe this is how you're supposed to get through here? I can't. Yeah, okay, you gotta swim the whole thing. But, we have more than enough health to make it through. It'd be nice if we could use our golden feathers, but okay. Ow! Go through. I wasn't expecting it to get... Banjo? I wasn't expecting it to get to Glitter Gold's Mine from here, that's for sure. Hey, there's a Jinjo. Hey, we got all the orange Jinjos, what do you know? Ooh, we got a Jiggy. Fantastic. Uh, let's see, is there anything in here? Uh, I guess not. And I don't think that counts as the Jiggy for this area. Or... It doesn't count as a Jiggy for this world. Okay, you are some nasty looking water here. And I think we already got this the last time, didn't we? Yeah, there was something in here last time, and we already got it, so... Okay, now we gotta get back to where we were. Ow! How about you don't, how about you don't try to ki kill me? Oh, cool. We can't go back through here. Very nice. I doubt we're gonna make it all the way back there in one piece, but... We can try. So basically they expect you to be half dead by the time you get back to either one of these areas. Gotcha. I wonder if you could have... I wonder if you could have made it into, uh... Um, made it into this world from Glitter Gold's Mine earlier in the game. And I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yeah, I'm dead. I never tried it, so I don't I don't really know. 
Banjo, how about you go through? There we go. What the fuck, bear? Go through the fucking blades. Okay. I lost five pieces of health on one blade. Seriously? Yeah, I'm gonna be dead by the time I get over there. Okay, I'm gonna try one thing real quick. I doubt it's gonna work. Uh, I was hoping that, uh... I was hoping that Kazooie's uh, talent thingy would be able to, like, kill it somehow, but I guess not. Okay, go through instead of being knocked back, like, five times. There we go. I want to find the developers that always say, oh, let's make the water level the most irritating one, and slap them in the nads with a hockey puck, but that goes against the gentle teachings of Buddha or whoever. Not that I care about being gentle. Seriously, why do water levels always have to be one of the worst levels? I mean, there, there's a few exceptions, don't get me wrong, but for the most part, they're more irritating than anything. Okay, so we got a Jiggy in here, but it wasn't for this world. Uh, we still don't know where Wumba's Wigwam is. We discovered a cheat that was useless. I think that's about all I can take for this episode, so next time we will... Ooh, I didn't know you were here. Next time we will continue to explore uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon and hopefully do a better job of not failing miserably. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.